are back here at FWDG with our co-host, Michael. Good to see you, Larry. This is so wonderful. Michael, you have brought a wonderful man to chat with us today, a little bit about Buford and some of the things he does. Yes, um, we've brought in Alan Patterson from Alan Patterson Builders, and he is one of the longest running builders in all of Buford. And good, good morning, and tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Well, we've, uh, we've been building here for about 45 years personally. I'm a third generation contractor and our most exciting project we have going on right now is Whitehall at the foot of the bridge. Oh. And uh, we're gonna build uh, eight townhouses and 28 homes in there and, uh, mm -hmm. and three grand homes on, on that 18 acre natural park with walking distance to Buford. I think it's going to be very exciting and uh, I'm looking forward to it. We all are. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. You, you've got a rich history here in Buford and you build, you started in Buford, but you've also got some places that you build a lot that people are pretty familiar with. Like you said, we were talking about Habersham. Yes. Where are some of the other fun places that you've built? Well, we did Midtown down off of Bladen Street, which was a neo-traditional neighborhood. We, it was an infill project. We won national awards for that. And then we did uh, Habersham, which has been our biggest mainstay for the last 10 or 12 years. But I really started out in New Point in 93. Wow. And uh, built that out, and that kind of started a new trend of neo traditional from the gated golf course communities. Went from there to Midtown, built out Pinckney Retreat, and did City Walk, and now we're doing Whitehall. It, it's all that Southern genre, Southern living style, porches, easy Southern living. Alan, I have a quick question for you. I notice who's like, it's the interior designer in me that's yeah. so curious. Uh -huh. But I'm wondering about, about projects like Habersham, some of the bigger projects. Do you and an architect kind of conceptualize the way things are going to look and then you build and then people come and is that how it does work or? Well, it's kind of a partnership between the developer the architects and land planners and, okay. and, and just the style they want. And uh, it's, it's, it's progressing from a real formal sort of big grand house to a smaller house with a little more contemporary looks now. And that's what we're seeing, a transition from heavy moldings and, and big grand houses to something a little more affordable. Our market, it's gotten so expensive, we, we've, we've had to downsize the houses, which I always like to think about, why don't you go home and think about the space you're living in in your house and yeah. don't build a house bigger than that. Some people listen to me, mm -hmm. some people don't, but that's the smart thing to do. So it's really economy of space and function mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. From a realtor point of view, is that what you're seeing people trending? Absolutely. Um, we're, we're seeing more business in 2,000 square foot houses that are efficient, that have wonderful features, that have high-end cabinetry, that have great bathrooms. Um, the people that are, are coming to the area really, uh, in some areas, they want that grand 5,000 square foot house. And that still is a client out there, but the majority of what we're seeing are scaled down. And what's been interesting, just tying it into design mm -hmm. and furniture, is you're seeing the same kind of thing, kind of multifunctional pieces. Correct. We yeah. were talking yeah. before about comfort. Right, comfort mm -hmm. and health. We were yeah. talking about both. And especially yeah. in, in design and furnishings. Exactly, yeah, and things need to be multifunctional. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, lifestyles have changed, the furniture has changed. Um, sometimes we go back to the you know, historic styles, but most of the time we're seeing things just slim down exactly. and um, being, um, you know, to fit in the homes that, are, yeah, to fit in the homes that that are being built. It, it makes a lot of sense. Do you find that most clients know what they want or is it really an education process for you? Well, a lot of them build the house that they moved out of to try oh. to copy that. What we're not seeing are formal dining rooms anymore. Okay. And uh, they like the grand room space, kitchen, flex space, you know, where you got all that. Mm -hmm. They pretty much have a good idea of what they want, but they're looking to downsize. Big yards, they don't want big yards. Right, they low want, maintenance. 
The wife wants to clean the house in about an hour, and then he wants to do the yard work in about an hour. Then they want to go out and enjoy being retired. And on that note, <laughs> thank you. It's so wonderful to have you thank sitting you. on this thank you. couch. Thanks for the thank opportunity. Thank you all for joining us here on Carolina Women, Men on the Couch. <laughs> it's wonderful. See you next week. Thank you, Alan.